Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys that watch the channel would know I just got back from Arkansas. Y'all gotta excuse the noise. I'm out here in the driveway. I just got back from Arkansas. Had an awesome trip. Dropped all kind of ducks and geese out of the sky. If you missed those videos, be sure to check them out. Those videos are already up on the channel. But for this video, check it out. I got a spec or a speck on belly or a white front, you might call it right here. And then a mallard. I'm gonna breast them out and I'm gonna cook them up and we're gonna eat on them. If you never had them, hey, they're good. Especially these speckle bellies. Oh my, we had some at camp here this week. Delicious. But let me give you an up close look at these birds. Oh, my plate's flying away. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna breast them out here in the driveway. Just keep the mess outside. My wife will be happier that way. And then we're gonna get in the kitchen and cook them up. Ought to be yummy. Check out these birds here. All right, so right here, this is our mallard, green head. A lot of people, when they think of a duck, they think of a mallard duck. Pretty big uh, compared to a lot of other ducks. If you look, it's almost as big as that goose right there. But there's a lot of other duck species that are smaller than the mallards. And then, well, let me show you the wings here. Get you up close, look what they look like. They're pretty, pretty animals. You see, they've got those real pretty feathers on the mid section of their wings that's that mallard real pretty green and blue down in there then and they also have these really bright orange feet mallards do really bright orange feet brighter orange than that goose see that <clears throat> all kind of ducks have different color feet and the mallards got those bright orange ones real pretty birds then this is the speckle belly or white front let's see if they got that white front right there on their nose see the color of their beaks pretty pretty birds and their belly has got lots of speckles on it let me give you a flip on this guy show you his wings so see all the different colors in their wings there they are real pretty birds too let me show you their feet a little bit lighter of an orange but still pretty bright there check them out but what I'm going to do, I'm no expert here, but I'm just showing you how I do it. On these birds, I just make slit right there and then take my hands and <clears throat> pry them open. Same way on the goose, and then we'll get that breast meat out. Take it in the kitchen and show you how we cook them. It's going to be good. The kids will even eat it, I guarantee you. Almost forgot to show you my knife. Everybody's always asking me about the knives I use. Just picked up this Schrade. Good little pocket knife. Kind of neat. It's got that pivot right there. You ever seen one like that? It locks up. And then you pull this little whoop. And it closes. But pretty slick. I'm using that because I know it's got a really sharp blade on it. And it's going to be easy to get these birds cut open. Alright, so check this out. This is the mallard. Looks pretty good, huh? And then this is the goose. You can see that mallard meat out the front of it is almost as big as this goose, but you can also see that this goose got blasted a little bit harder than this mallard. That mallard meat's pretty much all clean and good. This old boy got got uh, got some Remington bismuth blasted through him right through the front, but we're going to clean this up. I'll show you all the pieces, then we're going to Cook it up in a pan, show you how I do it. All right, now here I got it kind of sliced up. This is the mallard. This is the goose. You can see, <laughs> like I said, that one, it got blasted a little bit more than this guy, but you, I can leave it bigger, but since the kids are eating lunch with us, I cut them up a little bit smaller. Now we're gonna go put them in the pan. Almost forgot to tell you about the seasoning. Gonna put this Bill Byers on here. Both sides of this before we put it in a skillet. Anybody who wants to know, we dropped these birds with the Remington Premier Bismuth this week. Did us a good job. Didn't have any problems with it. Got us a lot of birds on the ground. and fixing to be a lot of birds in my belly. But we'll season it. Then we're going to put it in the pan. I'll be back in a second. All right. So we got the seasoning on there. Then all we're going to do, I got butter in a pan. We'll get it getting hot here. And then we're just gonna grab this, put it in there and make it go 
cook it on both sides you don't want it raw but you don't want it crunchy just to get a little bit of a good cook on it you know what i'm saying however you want to eat it really i guess but we're about to drop this in here well, buddy let me cook you some first i'll give you some cooked buddy boy oh no drop the butter there we go be right back Woo! here we go now this is the duck this is that mallard but just cooking it up in this butter i'm gonna flip it all i'm gonna do it quick i'm not gonna film it all because i don't want to burn it mess it up now <laughs> we gotta eat it <laughs> but put some butter in there put the meat in there let it go flip it over same thing then we're gonna do the same thing with the goose then we're gonna eat it it's gonna be good hold on be right back all right i just flipped them they're about ready to come off you can see the color change in them you can see the color of the meat as it's cooking through there mmm this is about to be yummy about to have us a taste test mm, that's some good looking duck all right first taste test always goes to the dog let me get you some uh get you some mallard here buddy what you think about that you like it? Buddy's got a little bow tie on for Christmas. This dog, he's a bagel. His mom is a basset and his dad is a beagle. You like that? You want more? You want another one? You want to try the goose? Let's get you some goose, buddy boy. That smell good? Okay, here's my taste tester, Charlie. And you had duck before, huh? And do you like it? Yeah. Charlie always says duck is her favorite food. So try this one right here. That's the duck. That's a mallard duck. And what do you think about it? It's uh, really good. Really good? And all we did was put that Bill Byers seasoning on it and put it in some butter in a pan. All right, now try a piece of this. This is the goose and see if you like that better. That's a speckle belly goose. Yeah, I think I like that better than that. You like the goose even better? Yeah, but they're both really good. Both really good. Thumbs up. Easy to make that stuff too. Buddy's trying to come get some more too. <laughs> we gotta save some for everybody else. But, hey y'all, that's how I cook my duck and my goose. Appreciate y'all watching. Shout out to Remington Premier Bismuth. We dropped a bunch of birds out of the sky. Like I said, if y'all haven't seen the actual hunt videos, go check them out. Had an absolute blast over there in Arkansas at Bill Byers Farm. Shout out to my buddies, Kaysen and Kyle and Jason and Chris down there helping us out there catching those birds. Had an awesome time. Appreciate y'all. Just a quick video showing you how we cook up some birds. It's good. Everybody loves it. I'm here to tell you that uh, I like the duck, but I like that goose even more. It tastes like, I mean, it tastes like some steak. It's good stuff. But hey, appreciate y'all. We will see you on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed. New videos every single day. Appreciate y'all. Hoo-doo.